Hello, this is VLR, and welcome to the Level 5 Conqueror quest on Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. Oddly enough, I am in the middle of another episode, but since I have hit Level 5, um, I felt that I might as well go do this. I'm actually Level 7 now. Trial by Earth. Brother Isun Yan wants you to learn about the element of Earth. It's good to see you again, Audrey. By the air of serenity it surrounds you, it is plain you have learned to draw upon the energy of creation. I am glad. It is the wellspring of all our power. Yet the energy of creation is not one thing but many, and to call upon all without first knowing each is conjury at its most basic. Part of your continuing education it is my desire that you now learn about the element of Earth. Make your way to Blessed Bud in the North Shroud, and there partake of Hieronolian's wisdom. The depth of his affinity for the elementals of rock and soil is all but unique amongst conjurers. He is a gifted instructor besides. <laughs> you may be certain of receiving a most enlightening lesson on the subject of Earth. Yay! And I'll be right back once I get to him. Oh, I'm supposed to be reading. So, Brother Isumian, did you come to me to learn the element of Earth? That is well. The power of Earth is a solid foundation upon which a conjurer stands. I could happily lecture you for days on its intricate variations and properties, but I rather suspect the busy life and adventure would not afford the time required for such extended discourse. Accordingly, I shall offer you an opportunity to experience the qualities of Earth firsthand in combat. Now, mark me well, Audrey, and do exactly as I command. Means of here in the grounds of Tree Speak Stables, there exists a patch of soil that bears the mark of corruption. Seek it out. When you have found the place, reach out to the focus of the Earth's trauma and attempt to commune with it as all conjurers can. Resentful of your intrusion, the tainted being that feasts unseen upon the energy seeping from the wounded Earth shall then appear. Using the powers of conjury, strike it down and permit the land a chance to heal. Much of the nature of Earth will be revealed to you during the struggle. Audrey, I trust you will return to me a wiser woman than she who now departs. Alright, so we need to go just over here. That's why I'm not going to cut it again. I kind of zoned out there as I was going to him. I'm like, hmm, hmm, hmm. I guess I got so used to being in doing quest mode, I was only supposed to really reach level 4. I managed to reach level 7. And at one point I intended to get higher. Before stuff started to kick my ass and I figured, you know what, I probably need gear. So... I will come back to those things later. Here... Here desecrated land or whatever you call it, corrupted soil. Hello, Tainted Earth Sprite. I have to kill you with your own element. Oh, that was fun. I have to go back to another note with the Blessed Bud. Welcome back, Audrey, the elemental whisper of your accomplishments. How did it feel to confront the embodiment of Earth? To endure its onslaught? Has the crushing power of this element shaken the very marrow of your bones? No. Corruption occurs when the land's wounds are prevented from healing. In vanquishing the taint sprite, you permit the Earth's energy to flow unimpeded and to nourish the land once more. Can you not sense the strength of the Earth returning? Already the land begins to heal. Thanks to your actions, the field will once again bear bountiful crops. 
When next you have reason to call upon your art, look back upon the sesk and that which you accomplished. Experience once more the grinding weight of the earth's spirit and ripple in the memory of life flowing anew through the lands you helped restore. With such results shall your understanding of nature continue to grow. Hope you are paying attention, Sylphie. Sylphie. See this adventure here? Audrey came all the way from Stillglade Fane just to hear my lesson. It would be well to learn from her example. If you wish to become a conjurer worthy of the name, you must make an effort to study nature. Do you attend me, young lady? Why should I bother studying nature? I can conjure already. Well, that's nice. You can cast Cure. See? You have a rare gift for healing, Sophie. A wonderful gift. But there's more to being conjurer than... I don't want to do more. I want to heal. I'm good at healing. You can't make me do those other things. Words you would never hear from a conjurer that can do DPS. All conjurers can do DPS. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder why I even try. Sophie joined the guild shortly before you came to us. As you yourself just experienced, she possesses a prodigious talent for healing. Indeed, despite her tender years, I know a few conjures who are her equal in that field. Alas, nature, the very wellspring of her power, holds no interest for the child, and when she should by rights be learning about the land, for is instead to wonder at healing people on a whim. What's wrong with that? You, in contrast, have been a most attentive student. I have taught you all I know of the element of earth. May I report back to Brother Isumi and tell him as much. They're just gonna take, he's just gonna take my word for it. Alright, be back at Isumian. And here we are back at Isumian. And someone was standing in him. Ah, Audrey, you have returned. But tell me, how did you fare under Nolan L's expert tutelage? Have you delved deep into the earth and felt its suffocating weight, its life sustaining vigor? What the fuck are you talking about? Such experiences will serve you well. And have you all else to report? Hmm? A fledgling conjurer named Sophia cast healing magic upon you? How kind of her. Uh, I must confess to sharing no one else's frustrations with the girl. As you yourself have witnessed, Sophie possesses a natural talent for the conjury of mending and restoration. Alas, her gifts appear to have blinded her to the need for study, and she outright refused to learn about the natural world. She knows nothing of the elements of earth and wind, and is quite incapable of conjuring even the tiniest pebble or the faintest breeze. I have tried upon numerous occasions to explain to her that conjurers who are ignorant of the source of their power pose a risk to themselves and others, but all to no avail. Should she continue to deny the debt she owes to nature and indulge in ever more reckless displays of the power, there is every possibility that she will create a dangerous imbalance. And you say I am presently at loss to know how she, how such an eventuality might be prevented. Ah, a thought occurs to me, Audrey. Maybe that your encounter with Sophie was ordained by the elementals. What? Should you chance to meet with her again, I ask that you strive to impress upon her the importance of opening oneself to nature's voice. Perhaps she will listen to you. We have discussed our wayward friend's education enough. Let us speak in instead of one of my more willing peoples. Ah, oh, who is it? Namely you. The progress you have made does you great credit, Audrey. Though you are yet new to the art of contrary, you are no stranger to nature's embrace. Considering that all you have learned, I hope you understand the true significance of these words. No, but I see you giving me gear. No pants? Really? No pants? Hmm. I'm almost level 8, I might as well take that. Alright. And I will see you next time. Been a I hope you enjoyed, and have fun.